channel um i included a few clips of my morning before this but i have an entire morning routine if you guys want to see that it should be the video right before this one so go check it out today i am just going to take you guys along for a few days in my life it's monday today so i think i'm going to go run and grab a smoothie because we have like no groceries and then i'm going to go to the grocery store i'm going to hit up target because we have a few like little things that we need for the house and i also want to go buy um like home goods or something and see if they have any pillows i know it's really random but the pillow i'm sleeping on now is just not cutting it anymore i keep waking up with my neck in like a lot of pain and i'm just not comfortable when i'm sleeping anymore so i feel like i need a new pillow and i'm sad because i really like the pillow that i sleep with now so i'm hoping i can find one kind of similar but pillows are just like so hard to find like the right one so we're gonna go hit up maybe like tj maxx or something because i think that's where i got this pillow from so i'm hoping they'll have something similar and we can find a good replacement but anyway yeah i'm about to change into my outfit for running errands all right just threw on this outfit i'm wearing some just like really casual pants from petal and pup i'm wearing my burks i really want to get the boston birkenstocks but they're sold out everywhere so i'm just waiting until they come back in stock somewhere um because i'm like dang this would be so cute with this outfit but anyway and then i'm wearing this little black tank top from h&m and yeah this is just gonna be my little running errands outfit for the day some of these grain-free siete I think how you say it yeah siete um chips and then i also got the almond flour siete um tortilla shells just because we love to make like um chicken tacos and stuff with these and then i picked up more of my blender bombs and then i also picked this up i thought i would try it because i think i might be allergic to almond i don't know but i think i might be so i picked up this date pecan butter because it's pecan butter so i figured it's better than um like almond butter or like the other nut butters that i use that have almonds in them so i'm trying to figure out if i'm indeed allergic to that nut almonds because almonds is in a lot of things so really the only almond thing i got was the um tortilla shells and i got some almond flour at trader joe's but like i was always having like almond milk and almond butter with a banana and like i would snack on almonds and stuff so i'm just trying to figure out if i need to eliminate almonds from my diet so that being said i also picked up some different milk this is the elmhurst plant-based um, cashew milk and i figured we could try it in our coffees and then speaking of coffee i did pick up some more beans so this is the methodical brand and this is like my favorite coffee shop it's based out of greenville south carolina um i love going up to greenville i'm actually going to greenville this weekend so i honestly could have just gotten this at the coffee shop but they had it already at whole foods so i picked it up when i saw it and then i just picked up some more waffles these are the vans gluten-free waffles they're the best 
Okay, I want to do a taste test of this nut butter, so we're going to open it up. Oh I hate when they don't put tabs on things to open. Like, who thought that was a good idea? And the ingredients on this are so, so simple, you guys. Like, I think that is key. It's literally just dry recipe cans, dates, and pink Himalayan salt. Also, I hate this about, like, raw any kind of nut butter that's like a raw nut butter. Um, it's always like got so much oil on the top and you have to like mix it up. Okay, let's just try a little bite. Mmm, wait, that's actually so good. I figured I would like it because I freaking love pecans. Like, go get this. They had a bunch of other brands too, but or like other flavors and stuff, but. All right, let's do Trader Joe's now. I got a ton of stuff. So I got some broccoli because I just like to have it on the side. And then I got two of the Italian chicken sausages because they're just so easy to do for meals. Like we'll probably cook up one of those tonight. And then two of the uh, brown rice quinoa pastas because they're like the best gluten-free pastas that I found and then I got some Brussels sprouts some mushrooms because I saw that these were really good to add into an anti-inflammatory diet so got those then I picked up some canned pumpkin just because I don't know it's fall and I liked the pumpkin bread that I made last time so got that I got some tomato paste to make a pasta sauce and then this is the almond flour that i always pick up from there then we got some no sugar dry rubbed bacon and some potatoes because these are so easy to cook up for a side as well then we have some sweet potatoes because we freaking love sweet potatoes i also picked up some pre-cooked chicken just to do four chicken tacos one night and then some hash browns because I love their hash browns for breakfast. Oh, look at the blueberries. Oh my god, the blueberries are spilling everywhere. And some frozen fruit for smoothies this week. We got some kale, which I figured I would try and cook up to make like kale chips with. Um, and then I got some apples because I just like to have stuff like this to snack on. I thought these would be really good with the pecan date butter. And last but not least, we got bananas because I put them, I have a banana every single day, at least one. and I got home to a package from Windsor and I'm so excited I wanted to unbox it for you guys I picked this stuff from them like a while ago so I genuinely don't even remember like what I even got so this will be a surprise for both of us but <laughs> I'm super excited I'm working with them over on Instagram but I figured I would show you guys anyway okay Hmm, I do not remember picking this, but it looks cute. <laughs> okay, so I got this. This is just like a corset style top. I literally don't know where I am going to wear this, but hopefully I can find a cute... I don't know. I just thought it looked so cute under like a blazer or um, I got a little... I think I got a little black jacket in here if they sent it that I thought would be super cute paired with. And I don't really have any corset style top so i got this i seriously don't remember what i even got from them you guys oh this is this dress okay i loved this on the website i don't know if you guys can tell so it's just like a really pretty bodycon style dress it has a slit right here in the side i thought this was literally stunning so i hope it fits me it's a small the boobs look a little questionable 
but it's so cute. The color I thought would be so pretty for fall. Um, and I figured you could dress it up with a pair of boots or dress it down, you know, with like a jean jacket and sneakers or something. So I'm excited to style that. And then I'm super excited about this because I, you guys know I love loungewear and sets and everything. Oh my gosh, these are so soft. So I just got these like cream colored joggers. How fun are these? They're so soft. And then I got the matching jacket with it. Like, look at that. Look how freaking cute. This is such good quality. Holy crap. And like, I love the gold detailing on the zipper. Wow, I love this. This will be so cute to wear in the fall. So I'm so excited about that. And I can't wait for these pants. I thought this color was so, so cute. So fun for fall, even though it's like a brighter color. I feel like brighter colors are like going into the fall. So I'm excited for these. They're just this blue. I hope they show up true on camera. They're like this periwinkle blue trouser. Hopefully you can see, yeah. So, so cute. I love this. I have a white tee from Cuts that I feel like these would be so cute with. Um, but yeah, I love trouser pants, so I'm excited for these. I don't know what's that. Yeah, I got smalls, I think, in pretty much everything. I got a medium in the sweat set because I like that stuff oversized. Just so you guys know. And I'll try and link everything down below so you guys can shop it if you see anything that you like. And then this entire thing is like an outfit that I envisioned going together so we'll see that looks good but it's just this like tweed set so this is the tube top situation it laces up in the back I think this is so stunning and then this is a little mini skirt that goes with it so you buy it as I think you can buy them separately um but I got it as a set I just thought this would be so cute with this I cannot wait for this because I know I'm going to wear this a ton in the fall. It is this black leather blazer. You guys, how cute is this? I'm going to style this so many different ways in the fall. So I cannot wait. I got it in a small because it already comes, like it said on the website, it already comes oversized. Which it does seem like it's going to be pretty oversized. So just keep that in mind if you want to get your hands on it. But it's only 60 bucks too, which is so good for a leather blazer. Obviously, it's not real leather, but um, yeah. So I thought it'd be so cute paired with this set. I'm like envisioning it already. I'm so excited. But yeah, so that's everything that I got from Windsor. So thank you, Windsor, for sending me all that stuff. If you want to see how I style everything, it'll all be on my Instagram. Um, I'm super excited to style my clothing rack with all this stuff too. Whenever I get new stuff in from companies, I always like set it all up on my clothing rack and it always looks so cute so so i'm gonna go ahead and hang all of this up and then i think i might make myself a little breakfast i mean i had a smoothie earlier but i'm kind of hungry it's not really breakfast i guess it's like lunch now but i'm kind of hungry so i think i'm gonna make that and then i'm gonna get some computer work done you guys i just made a coffee with that cashew milk that i got yesterday and look how pretty it's cascading down the glass like i cannot and look how perfect the foam turned out on top like i literally did not add anything this is the cashew milk by itself foamed up like it literally is so pretty let's see how it tastes i think i like this better than the almond milk yeah i'm like this is so good this like took my coffee game to the next level <laughs> all right well go get cashew milk because it's game changer all right you guys i'm in my car now driving to run errands i mentioned yesterday that i need a new pillow for the bed so i'm gonna go just like see if i can find one of those and then um i'm also going to go buy Lowe's to get new air filters for our house because it's just time to change those so i'm gonna get those all right, you guys, I just got home to a package from Liquid IV. They just sent me over some restock. So they sent the energy multiplier and then their hydration multiplier, which this is obviously caffeinated. This is not. Um, but you guys can shop all of the Liquid IV products on their website and use my code WESLYAN. I think it's my code. I'll leave it down below um, for a discount. So I just want to share that with you guys. 
And then I did go to the store to get pillows and I ended up with these. They're just the Tommy Bahama um, brand. I don't know. They just felt the best. I was in the pillow aisle like a crazy person feeling every single pillow. And then I also picked up some little sweaters. I'll show you those in a second. And then I got air filters. These were just the ones that my dad recommended and Bentley clearly is into them. But the funny story about me saying my dad recommended them, you probably saw my TikTok about this, but when I was in the aisle to get the air filters, I faced on my dad just cause I was like, I don't know, I've never bought air filters before. I wanted to make sure I was getting the right ones. And I already knew what size I needed. I just want to make sure it was like the right brand, whatever. And this guy comes up to me and he's like, um, like I'm clearly, I'm already on FaceTime with my dad. And he, this guy comes up, he's like, he's like, hey, can I help you with anything? Or do you need something? He said something like that. And I was like, he was like this close to me too. I was like, um, no, like I'm on FaceTime with my dad. Thank you. I got it. And he was like, oh, okay. And then he was like, then he kind of walked off and he was like still looking at me. And of course, like everything on my TikTok is talking about like sex trafficking and all this stuff. So I'm like hyper aware now. And I was just like, okay, like what is this guy doing? So he walks to one end of the aisle then he walks all the way around and he comes back on the other end of the aisle and he's talking to one of the sales associates. And I was like, what is this guy doing? And then both him and the sales associate are like walking back towards me. Meanwhile, I'm still on FaceTime with my dad and he like kind of stops near me and he's like talking to the sales associate he's like she might need you to help her like she's trying to find the right size air filters i'm like first of all no i'm not i know what i'm looking for second of all i literally told you i did not need help so why are you suggesting this guy come and help me so they go on and like a minute later the sales associate comes back and he's like man did you need help with something i'm like no i'm good i'm, I'm talking to my dad about it thanks I was like, what the heck? It was so annoying. I don't know why it just like really got under my skin. Like I just thought it was weird that he came and asked me in general if I needed help because I was already on FaceTime. It was very clear I was talking to my dad. Like, like it wasn't like I was on FaceTime with my friend and we were just chatting it up. Like I'm literally talking to my father who was telling me what to get. Like I do not need your help. You're like a random stranger. Anyway, it was just really weird. So whatever, I got the air filter. So we're gonna change them now because you guys know I just can't wait till Zach gets home to do things, so I just do it myself. I've literally never changed an air filter before, so let's see how this goes. Okay, this is the exact same air filter actually, so that's kind of cool. No idea. I'm gonna do it, guys. I think this is how it looks. Okay, okay it looks right. Okay, that was easy. Way easier than I thought it would be. Alright, and then there's one more in our bedroom. Okay, so here are the two sweaters that I got. I just got both of them because I wasn't sure which one I was going to like best, but I thought they would be super cute for going into fall. So this is the first one. It's kind of like oversized, if you can tell, um, but I like it that way and I thought it'd be really cute with a pair of pants that I have. And then I got this one because I honestly thought it would be pretty cute with those trousers that I showed you guys earlier from um, Windsor and hold on i'm trying to button it up i don't know i'm a big vest girl in the fall i feel like vests are always like trendy but also like classic you know so i got this one too i thought it was super cute with the tortoise buttons and like i said i thought it'd be really cute style with those trousers so i got both of those at tj maxx i never look in tj maxx anymore for clothes because they never really have anything good i feel like and i just order everything online now but i was on the like walking it was like those two things were on the front racks as i was walking 
to the checkout line i was like well these are really cute so maybe i should get them but he being a handsome boy he loves to find sunspots in the house like later in the afternoon when the sun's coming in and laying in the sun like he literally loves it do y'all see how psycho he is like watch he's about to lose it in a se second <laughs> so nervous because he's such a spaz like he's such a sweet dog but he has way too much energy for me like he's so weird like what he's staring at nothing right now he's the weirdest dog i've ever met but i love him he's just so weird Sometimes we act like a fool Not aware we're troublemakers Sometimes we try to be cool Not being givers, only takers Okay, y'all, just got out of my orange theory class and I literally think I died. <gasps> we had to run for 23 minutes straight. I haven't done that in, I don't know how long. Um, so yeah, needless to say, I'm like, I'm not well right now. Um, but we're gonna head home. We're gonna go make a smoothie. We're gonna finish showing our water. Oh my gosh, that was so tough. guys i tried to make a different variation of the pumpkin cream cold brew that i was making before it's not really cold brew i'm obviously using espresso but um yeah let's try it mm. mm -hmm. so the only thing i did different you saw i put um maple syrup in it i saw that like a lot of people have been doing maple syrup in their drinks for fall which makes total sense like, I know a lot of local coffee shops have, like, maple brown sugar, um, like, signature drinks and stuff. And I already use maple syrup to sweeten, like, a lot of things. So, there we could try it in the coffee. And it's really, really good. Again, I really feel like the cashew milk is key, you guys. Like, it is so freaking good. But, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and end off this vlog. I have a ton of work to get done. I'm about to go take a shower and get on that and then i think i'm gonna start a new vlog either tomorrow or friday i'll do like a weekend in my life but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did definitely subscribe if you're not already i love when you guys stick around it seriously means the world to me and yeah i will see you guys in my next video stop for a minute stop and breathe for